And her saying that leads me to believe Gary told her definitively that he was going to pick her. At the end of the day, he didn't really have the integrity that I thought he had. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Roxy, with Roxy Says, and we're going to talk about it. So today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to do like a podcast-type episode, but we have so much to discuss, so let's get right into it. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. So as you all have probably seen, Gary and Teresa have been making their rounds, doing their interviews, but now Leslie is finally speaking out and letting us know what Gary said to her in those fantasy suites, okay? So let me start off by saying this. All mess aside, right, with that scandalous article that came out. Like I said previously, I still appreciate this show for what it represents in its entirety, okay? I appreciate that it's given these ladies hope. I appreciate the friendships and the bonds that we can clearly see these ladies have made with each other. And in addition to that, for everyone who is watching the show, of course, people who are in the same age range as the contestants on The Golden Bachelor, I'm sure that this show has given people so much hope, even if it's not to go out and date, just to go out and try something new, try something different, and know that life is not over. So in that aspect, I love the show, and I hope they continue to do it. I cannot wait to see The Golden Bachelorette. Now let's address something that I saw regarding this honeymoon. I did see a couple of comments on my post and on other posts on Twitter, Reddit, things like that, of people who had an issue with them using this trip to Italy as their honeymoon. And I'm like, what's the problem? I have absolutely no problem with that. Listen, these networks make millions of dollars off of these shows, okay? The Golden Bachelor finale was reported to have the highest ratings of any Bachelor finale in like three years, okay? 6.1 million people tuned in. And from what I'm seeing, these contestants barely get paid for being on the show. So yes, pay for my wedding, pay for my honeymoon, and hell, you should be putting a down payment on our marital home if we if we keeping it real, okay? Now, do I think that Gary and Teresa should be getting married in January? No, I still think that that's a bit too soon, but I'm not going to fault them for capitalizing on this experience. And not only Gary and Teresa, but for all of these ladies, I'm all for them becoming influencers. Didn't Leslie wear hearing aids? Okay, get her a hearing aid sponsorship. And remember Sandra when she was playing pickleball like she was in the Olympics? Yeah, and she wears glasses. Get her a lenswear sponsorship and get her a multivitamin sponsorship or some type of medication that's good for joint health, arthritis, anything like that so that you can be on the pickleball court playing like Sandra or high kicking like Susan. I am all for it. You can go ahead and cast Kathy and April as evil villains in a movie. Listen, all of y'all better go on and get your money because the network has definitely gotten theirs, okay? So now let's get into this interview that Leslie did with Joe and Serena for their Bachelor Happy Hour podcast. Because in this interview, she lets us know why she was so confident in her relationship with Gary and then completely blindsided by the breakup. Everybody knows what he said on camera, but it was off camera in our overnight that only him and I know what was said. You know, I don't want to say everything he said, but it was 100% certainty when I woke up the next morning that I was going to be it. Teresa said that he basically proposed to her in the fantasy Yeah, sense. I didn't see that last night. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, essentially, did, did he do that with you? Proposed to me. He made plans with me uh, for future. Um, he said- He made plans with you for the future? Mm-hmm. 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 This is what we're going to do. I can't wait for us two more days. You know, we'll be done with this. Be together. Start our life. Did he say, will you marry me in there? No. But he all but said that. So as she said, no, Gary did not outwardly propose, but he said, save the date. He said, after this, we'll start our lives together. He made a lot of future plans. Hmm. Now, where have I heard that before? I feel like Gary was love bombing the hell out of Leslie. He was probably doing a lot of future faking with her. And she said, it's just mind boggling how you can love me. And then 12 hours later, you're breaking up with me. Oh, yeah. And here's a little bit more. He woke up the next morning and he left. He turned around three times and blew me kisses. He didn't want to leave. That's why I wasn't worried that he was going on a date. I was just knew that he had to get through the motions of it. I mean, I was 100% sure that I was it. So it's understandable why she had no doubt at all. And seeing how they were together, I 100% believe what she's saying, right? We saw it for ourselves. She was well aware that Gary would be going on a date with Teresa the following day. 
And she had no problems, no doubt. And she felt that confident because Gary had alluded to knowing that this next overnight date with Teresa wouldn't compare at all to the night that they shared, okay? But as we all know, something happened that night that did indeed change everything. And you see in this interview, Leslie also lets us know something that I found very interesting. She says that she already knew that Gary had told Faith that he loved her because Gary told her that he told, wait, hold on. <laughs> Gary told Leslie that he had already told Faith that he loved her, okay? But what she didn't know was that when they got to Costa Rica, Gary was also saying it to Teresa. And that's another reason why I feel like Leslie was so confident because in her mind, her biggest competition, Faith, was gone, <laughs> right? So her biggest competition was sent home. She actually said that she thought that her and Faith would be the last two women standing. So she figured when it came to Teresa, Gary is just going through the motions. He's just, you know, fulfilling his obligations for the show. But I feel like because of the things Gary said to her, she had no reason to view Teresa as any type of competition. So that's why she was so blindsided when Gary broke up with her. And here's another thing that Leslie said that I also totally agree with. I mean, I would have been happy with just, I love you, but he took it to a different level. But he took it to a different level. Hmm, now who said that before? But I think that doing a process like this and you know that you can only pick one, maybe hold off on all of the promises that you were making. Maybe hold off on all of the extra stuff that Gary was clearly telling Leslie until you actually propose. And then you can pour it on, you get what I'm saying? But I feel like he was doing that way too early in this experience. See, like I said before, Gary did a lot knowing that he could only pick one person. And Leslie also said that throughout the experience, she would give Gary passes and she would chalk things up to him being caught in the moment or him being tired, especially in Costa Rica when he started acting funny. She said, oh, okay, maybe he's tired. We've been filming all day. But then she would remember, well, in this entire experience, we're all tired, we've been tired, and this is not how he was acting towards me. He's acting different to me now, right? And Leslie, who has watched every season of The Bachelor, she says that she has an understanding of how it goes. She fully understands that someone's heart has to be broken. She gets that. It's just that Gary did a lot. He put a lot of extra into it, which she says that he could have chosen to just not do, right? But she said that she knew that when they were in that suite and she gave him the photo album and she said, I love you. And his response was, aw, that's a sweet sentiment. She was like, okay. <laughs> she knew that it was over. And she said that when he left and he knocked on the door and came back, she also knew he wasn't knocking on her door to drop to his knees and say, I love you. Let's just be together. Let's run away together now. She knew that he came back to break up with her. Although Leslie was a good sport at the reunion, based on this interview, you can tell that obviously she's still hurt, probably a bit embarrassed by the situation. And she doesn't really fully forgive Gary and she doesn't have to. But in this interview, she said that she actually misspoke at the, fin did I say reunion? I meant the finale, sorry. But she says that she actually misspoke during the finale when she said that Gary was a man of integrity and she wants to take this time to clear that all the way up. The only thing I would have liked to, I forgot or didn't forget, I should have said, um, I thought you're a man of integrity instead of you're a man of integrity because at the end of the day, he didn't really have the integrity that I thought he had. I really wished that they asked her her opinion about that article, but maybe The Bachelor and the network as a whole is just trying to stay away from addressing anything. Regarding that article, we see even in the interviews that Gary and Teresa have done, they're really not trying to discuss the article. They're not confirming or denying anything. So I guess that's just all we're going to get from that situation. But I would still like to know what Leslie thought about the article. And I wonder if she feels like she dodged a bullet. Leslie also says that if she was chosen to be the golden bachelorette, she would not be throwing I love yous around like Gary did, okay? She said even if one of the golden bachelors said I love you to her and she felt the same way, she would still withhold it until she actually chose that person. See, now I can believe her because she's experienced it and she knows the hurt that it would cause by being told I love you and then being broken up with. So in that aspect, 
I can believe her, but I feel like for some, it might be hard. You might get caught up in the moment and someone says, I love you and you feel it and you say it back, right? I wouldn't be surprised if anyone did that. But like a lot of you all know, this is my first season watching The Bachelor ever. And a lot of you have said that in past seasons, they would withhold those I love yous until the very end. And I hope that they bring that back because I don't feel like those I love you should be thrown around like that, much less for all of the extra stuff that Gary was telling these women, okay? Hopefully in the seasons to come, people will reserve those deep sentiments and declarations for the very end. Tell me what you think below. But all in all, Leslie says that the experience was extremely empowering for her and she feels like if she can do this, she can do anything and she's completely optimistic about finding love again. And I love that for her. Like I've been saying, that's exactly what I want for all of these people, everyone on the show and everyone watching. I just hope that this season has left everyone, like I said, aside from all the mess, full of hope and full of optimism, okay? Let me know all your thoughts below. Do you think that Leslie was warranted to feel as confident as she did based on what Gary was saying? Or do you think that she should have waited for the actual proposal before picking out that dress and writing those vows? Don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you know every time I post a new upload. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye! Bye.